Hello everyone, welcome to another Star Wars Old Republic video and for this video we are once again talking about new data mined information. We'll start with a new, uh, not a new, we'll start with a returning but very anticipated event and then also go on to some new items that have been data mined. Unfortunately for none of this stuff I don't have any images uh, because the data miners have just gotten the new stuff that was added to the build but no images with that. So we'll just throw up some random images as I talk about some of the new stuff that will be coming. So firstly we are going to be seeing a return of the nightlife event very much anticipated very much asked for by the community so it's good to see that they're listening to us on that front i personally did not have a chance to participate in the nightlife event for whatever reason i didn't do it i think maybe i was unsubscribed for that period but i'm going to be really happy to do it this time around for those of you who don't know what that is, the Nightlife event was just an event you could do on Nar Shada. You could play with tokens, there were vendors, there were exclusive rewards. Uh, you could play the machines, for example, and you could win the Kingpin Rancor. That was the big reward. And the reason that was so awesome was because we didn't have many Rancors in the game at that time. I think that might have actually been the, the very, very first one, uh, aside from the PvP reward Rancor from the ranked PvP. But anyways, the point was it was very sought after. A lot of people won the jackpot prize, and so needless to say, Rancors have been done to death, so we do need some new rewards. And the big kind of reward for this uh, new Nightlife event will be a Gamorrean Guard Companion. So that's basically a Gamorrean Companion. Uh, it already has two appearance customizations for it. It does seem very definitive that that is going to be added. Now, um, I'm, I think it's going to be a reward you can win from the machines itself, not like from the vendors or anything. That's what it seems to be. And um, it's going to be pretty cool because a Gamora companion is very cartel-y, you know, it's, they're, they're the guards for the huts and stuff, so the fact that you can have one now guarding you, it's going to be pretty cool. We also have two new vendors for uh, the Nightlife event, both an Imperial and a Republic one. I would say their names, but I literally can't pronounce them. Um, and they are going to be uh, offering some cool stuff, it seems. So the, we're getting new interactive decorations. For example, we have the Gambler's Bar, the Gambler's Party for, and the Gambler's Mic Stand. And these are indeed clickable objects. So when you click them, they actually do something. That's going to be pretty cool. And it's going to allow for people to really get into the nightlife event by dressing up their or by decorating their own strongholds that way. Um, that's about it for the nightlife event exclusively we are getting some newer items that do seem to be themed for the nightlife event but i'll just run through the items themselves because not all of them have something to do with the nightlife event it does seem as though some of them are just for the newer cartel packs that are coming out later so we'll start off with uh, some some stuff like we are getting a cartel bazaar transport so it does seem as though that's very much for the nightlife event also um we're getting a new nightlife themed armor set, the Nightlife Socialite. Not really sure how that looks once again, I don't have the images, but it does seem as though that's going to be available from the vendor. It is Bind On Legacy. And then we're seeing a return of the Gamorrean Axe. Now I'm not sure whether that's now going to be a reward from a vendors or the machine. It might actually just be a return to the cartel market because it was originally a cartel market item. But uh, Bioware decided to actually remove that and it hasn't been there for a very long time. So it's pretty rare, but I wouldn't say it's popular. I mean, even if it came back, people would probably only be able to sell it for like a million credits if they're lucky. Uh, back in the day when it was still available, it was going on the GTN for like 300k. So it wasn't the most popular thing in the world. It's not the nicest looking item item either but the fact that we're getting a new Gamorrean companion it makes sense that they would return with the item as well now going on to some actual other items that aren't necessarily have anything to do with the um with the nightlife event just probably with newer cartel packs we have some new armor sets firstly we have the distinguished wardens armor set now once again I don't have any images so it's kind of useless to talk about it until we have some newer data mine information but uh, just from the name itself kind of I don't know you can't really tell anything some of the other armor sets are more um are cooler just by selling their names. The other one is the Gifted Shadows armor set. Uh, we have the Gifted Wanderers armor set. That was very Jedi themed, so maybe this is a Sith themed version of it. Really, anything with Shadow in its name tends to be pretty cool. Another armor set we have is the. Now, this one's very exciting, and this is one of the reasons I wanted to do a video like this the Tithian Disciples armor set. Now, just let that sink in. The Tithian Disciple. That sounds really badass. And judging from some, judging from just the Tithian lightsaber pike and the lightsaber, uh, I like it. It's a really nice blend of modern technology along with some really old rusty stuff. So maybe they're gonna keep that theme going with the armor set as well. It is already uh, uh, categorized as a gold rarity item. Nonetheless, it is gonna probably be very popular. It's gonna be the jackpot item from the pack, and uh, I'm very excited for that. The only way Bioware can screw that up is make it a reskin or something, but I'm really hoping that they just keep it really cool. Uh, with some other Tithe 
related stuff. We also have a new decoration, the Tides Font of Sacrifice. Now that sounds just really epic as well. I mean, it's probably going to be a super cool Sith theme decoration. Uh, so I'm kind of looking forward to that. Not sure whether that's from a cartel pack. I would assume it's actually going to be a drop from the boss itself, maybe in hard mode or nightmare mode or something. Um, but I don't know, maybe... Maybe it's already a drop because some people have been saying they're getting decorations from killing tithes. So maybe it's already in the game or we have some other versions of that in the game. And this is a new decoration that's coming. Now, another reason I really wanted to make this video is we are getting a new weapon tuning. Now, this one is really exciting. It is called the Volatile Weapon Tuning. So very, very clearly, it's going to be a offshoot of the Volatile Conqueror's lightsaber. It's going to be effect along those lines. Now, for those of you who don't know, this is probably one of the most popular lightsabers uh, still in the game. I mean, it still goes to like 20, 30 million credits, but it used to be the most popular. Now it's kind of been overshadowed by some of the newer platinum stuff that's available. But this is a very, very popular effect just on the lightsaber. I'd love to show you actual in-game footage. Unfortunately, once again, I'm on vacation, so I don't have access to the game, but just from the image itself, or you can go preview it in game yourselves. It is very, very popular. And the fact that now we're getting a weapon tuning version of it means this is going to be a super popular weapon tuning because now you can add that effect onto any lightsaber you choose. Um, I called this like way back when they announced weapon tunings. I said we're probably going to see a weapon tuning version of some of the really popular weapon effects that we already have in game. And I still assume that we're going to be seeing an unstable weapon tuning come out sometime later in the future. But for now, we're going to have to settle with this pretty awesome weapon tuning. I do kind of think that this is probably going to overtake the lightning weapon tuning as the most popular weapon tuning in the game right now. The only way, once again, Bioware can screw that up is make it platinum or some shit like that. But I'm really hoping they make it gold, so at least it's semi-accessible to people in the game. But enough about the weapon tuning, we'll have to see when it actually comes in the game how it looks and whether it's kind of a knockoff version or whether it's the full-fledged thing. Uh, some other exciting stuff, we are getting a ton of new mounts in the game. A lot of it seems like reskins. We have the Phantom Rake, so that's very evidently just going to be a reskin. Uh, the Pearlescent Cruiser, not really sure how that's going to look. Uh, we are getting the Aerotech row, so a lot of this stuff is going to be kind of reskinned. Some of the newer stuff we have is something like the Fierce Thuvasaur. Now, for those of you who don't know what a Thuvasaur is, I'm with you. I don't know what the hell that is either. I tried to search it up online, and there are some Wikipedia articles. Like, for example, it's apparently a carnivorous creature. It's from some comic or another. Uh, but there isn't actually a definitive image online. So how it's actually going to look in game, I'm not sure. I'll throw up some images right now. This is what I can find on Google Images. Uh, there's some... Pretty, there's a diversity of artistic depictions of it. Some people are de depicting it as really cool three-headed monsters. Other people are just kind of depicting it as like a camel. So I'm not really sure, but um, we'll see what that is. It's definitely new and that's pretty cool. You know Bioware's, you know, kind of failing with their cartel packs and you're just happy that something's not a reskin. But uh, talking about reskins, we have the Inferno Devourer. Now we already have a ton of Devourers in the game right now, both silver and gold. So this one just seems to be an, it's probably going to be like an Inferno themed, orange themed uh, reskin of it. We'll see what happens. We have the Kukri Intimidator. Uh, the Kukri is a mount that came from the Oppressor Packs. Now I really hope that this is not just a silver version of a reskin. Bioware literally does that again, so close with in between cartel packs. Um, I, I don't know what to think, like that's just so stupid. Um... Yeah, so quite a few reskins, but still a lot of stuff to get excited about in my opinion. Personally, I'm really excited about that new weapon tuning. I'm also really excited about the Tythian's Disciples armor set, and then some of the other stuff seems alright. And then, of course, the return of the Nightlife event, something I never got a chance to do, and also anyone who subscribed to this game recently also probably didn't have a chance to do it either. So, uh, you know, it's going to be a chance for some of us to get in there and uh, w win some of those rewards. I'll definitely make a few videos about it as well. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I'll leave a link in the description to the data mine information itself. I left out quite a lot of stuff. In light of wanting to make this video rather short, I, I didn't talk about everything, so I'll leave a link. You can go check out this information for yourself, come to your own conclusions about this, and uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section, as always. I'd love to dialogue with you and see if you guys are excited about some of this stuff as well. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one.